Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zestria HD Blind, your host Damiel SC. Last time, we came back home, quite literally, and talked to Gramps, gave his pipe back, he gave us an elixir, it was all kinds of awesome cool and stuff. Um, and now I want to go around and talk to all of our friends, and our new friends and our old friends. It looks like they already split up and are talking to the villagers themselves, so I'm kind of curious what will happen. <laughs> I think you two are about five years old when you first went inside the... Mabingo, Mab, Mabinogio ruins. <laughs> what I mean, I say went in, but actually you two got lost, couldn't find the way out. I found a search party, went to look for you. Before you knew it, you two were using the ruins as your own private playground. How quick you two grew up! <laughs> Almost brings a tear to my eye. I'm really glad this is in here. This this gives a little bit. Of, I mean, I already knew that they were super into the ruins, but it's still really interesting to see. So you can see all those amazing sounding places written about in the celestial record. The Viviana so Subterranean Aqueduct and Maryland. Oh, and what about the Pendrago Shrine Church? <laughs> See, yeah, we're on about them. Sure, has rubbed off on me. <laughs> I bet you think it's strange that we serve from all living houses just like humans, right? Um, no, I grew up here. Well, at first it was just to teach you how humans lived, but then, before we knew it, we all gotten used to it, and we decided we rather liked it. Now that I'm getting used to it, I think I've started to understand how Saray was raised so pure of heart. Well, that was an awful short conversation. I figured that Edna would have the like longest bit. Maybe I'm seeing you in a different light now that you're a shepherd, but I must say, you look all grown up. Meanwhile, Miklio looks about the same. Saray, the shepherd and Miklio, the sublord. Well, well. Oh, that's the guy. It's amazing how it seems to come about so naturally. Gosh, it brings tears to my eyes. To your eye, doesn't it? What? What does? You know why Mikleo chose a staff as his weapon? Well, let me tell you. I'm trying to make sure he can outreach you. So Mikleo was self-conscious about it, huh? Wow, that was, like, way less interesting than the Edna conversation, or the Edna group. <laughs> Just think, how many prickle bears there'll be without you around to hunt them, sir, eh? We don't watch out, at least we'll come known as prickle boar for us in no time at all. That makes me sound like a terrible person, actually. Saray, slayer of prickle boars. Okay, no one over there. I want to make sure I don't miss anyone, because this is really in enjoyable, actually. It shouldn't be, but it is. When you reach out to the land below, you realize how pure and free of malevolence Alicia really is, right? But you know, there's a time when malevolence has been creeping in even here. We still managed to, managed to deal with it in the end, but still. Well, what I'm trying to say is, I sure hope things remain peaceful here. I hope they remain peaceful everywhere. That's why I'm a shepherd. Don't go spreading this around, but Lila sure is beautiful, isn't she? Endless disaster is not the only thing the land below faces. Apparently, they're on the brink of war as well. Forgive my saying this, Saray, but I can't have a feeling humans are more trouble than they're worth. Eh, the, based on what I've played of this game so far, I really feel like humans are changing. Humans are change. Whereas the Seraphim will just exist forever. Which is beautiful, but also, the world can't move forward without humans. You need grants for something? Well, for the lilac in the direction of the ruins. That's why there's an asterisk there. Aster wow! Exclamation point! Exclamation points and asterisks look very, very different. Ooh, maybe I'll eavesdrop on the conversation and hear more about what I was talking about last time. Because last time, the conversation actually mattered a lot. And so, hearing more of that would be would really, really kind of help me understand where everything fits in place in this world. All right. I wonder where Miklio and Lila went. Well, that's where we're going right now. You don't have to wonder. We already know. Come on, Saray, pay a bloody attention. I guess I'll go towards the exclamation point. I don't see... Well, there's Miklio. Wow, I didn't think you'd be an exclamation point. 
What are you doing, Miklio? Shut Shh. up! I see. Just as I thought, they... Come on. Wait. I'm so sorry. I wasn't aware of it and made the pact. No, no. It was of their own decision that they made the pact with you. What they make of it will be up to them. I'll support them with all I have, so that we won't repeat the same mistake. I really wonder what happened to Grandpa's Don't feet. Don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could do for the previous shepherd. Perhaps. But sometimes I can't help but wonder. Surely I could have done more than I did back then. Everything is tied to their fate, and their fates are yet intertwined. Yes. Thanks to you, Sir Zenris. No. You and those kids forged that bond. My role in Whoa, this wait. is done. All I can do now is worry about them. There are times when things go awry, but their purity and virtue gives me hope. I want to accompany them on their journey. This time, there will be no regrets. I see. Perhaps this is also how humans and Seraphim should coexist as a whole. I'm glad I was able to talk to you. And I with you. Please, take care of them. I actually wonder, I, don't, I wonder if it's not that, like, Weren't he raised talking a... about us? Looks like it. Why don't we I, ask? I have things to say! Leo. I guess we shouldn't eavesdrop on their conversation. If Gramps has something to tell us, he'll tell us straight up. Yeah. Same with Lila. I'm actually, because last time I thought that, um... This wasn't the first time Gramps had raised someone that turned into a shepherd. But now I'm actually thinking, no, that's not what it was. It's that Miklio is currently the, you know, um, sublord for the sh for the shepherd. I think that Gramps was the sublord for the previous shepherd, because they talked about how they they built houses here in order to teach Saray that's how humans lived. So it doesn't make sense that Saray's not the first human that lives here. So no, it's it's that I think. Zenris and Lila. Lila was the previous Prime Lord, and Zenris was one of the sublords. What you said before? What? I I can't forget it because I don't remember it. How? Like, will going up here do anything? Because I've talked to everyone else in town, but I I don't know how to advance and like rejoin the parties. So I'm going to go back up here, and I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. But you know what? We're going up here. Screw what I'm supposed to do. Wait, what? Have I... Holy crap, I missed that monolith? Okay, yeah, it won't let me go and talk to them. It's going to, it was going to force me to let them finish their discussion. But then that begs the question of what am I supposed to do? Because I kind of need Lila back before I leave. Yeah, okay. I don't want to go down that stairway either. I wonder if there's something back in town I can do. Because the, the big problem I'm having is that there is literally... Um, like, I already talked to everybody in town. But if I run back in there, maybe something will trigger. Maybe something will occur. Nothing's occurring so far. Let me go back to Gramps' house. Best thing I can think of. Whoop. Wait. What is that? Someone else has a... Is that Miklio again? It looks like no. It's opposite Miklio. Is there someone over here? Where did you come from? She's magical! I swear she was not there before. That's flippin' creepy. I'm weirded out by that, guys. Okay, is there anything for touching this? No. Well, then let's mosey, guys. 
see if there's anything in the around I forest because I did not know what I was doing when I was here last time. So I think it, it bears looking at. Interesting. No, it looks like there is no reason to be here. Whoa, we're in Gramps' domain. Gramps' domain is pretty strong. Indeed. Maybe Lila was the sub lord and Gramps was the prime lord? That doesn't make a lot of sense, but it, why is why is Gramps' domain stronger than Lila's if Lila's a prime lord? There's a... I don't know how to... Derp. I'm like, which power do I use to get past this? And the answer is, you don't. Is that guy person now going off to serve Gramps? This probably doesn't suck. Yeah, point of interest. Mushrooms! Are they safe to I'm really liking this way. The ones closest to you are okay, but stay away from the ones in the back. You got it. Wow. How do you know all that? It's just common knowledge. This forest. It's so rich and abundant with life. Yeah, that's the power of Gramps' blessed domain. Oh, so it's Gramps' domain that makes it feel this way? It's a sizable amount of power. Even among high-ranking seraphim. There are very few on his level. That's Gramps for you. Anyone comes by who's up to no good, they get zapped in the butt with lightning. Pow! He can wield lightning? Yep, <laughs> he lights up the sky like fireworks. I sure remember fireworks when it came to him and you. Well, figuratively. Oh, and that explains all the mushrooms. Huh? Oh, right! Where Monday's lightning strikes the ground, Tuesday's mushrooms will be found. Aha! Uh -huh. So we have Saray to thank for this harvest. Saray, why are your mushrooms poisonous? No, it wasn't like that. I was actually really hoping that Dezel would be like, Oh, how'd you know all that? And Dezel would be like, I'm guessing. But it probably won't kill her. Granted, that wouldn't make sense for Dezel's character, especially since it was Rose actually, but I was still hoping that's what he would say. Because it would be funny. Okay, yeah, nothing that way. And I'm pretty sure I actually went up there while I was here before, but I couldn't go the other way because there were rocks in the way. And I didn't know how to take care of rocks. But I sure figured it out this time. Alright, touch that. Nothing there. There's the Galahad ruins. And those are probably the well-hidden ruins that most people can't get to. Alright, so, I am going to go to Lady Lake, but first, I am going back up to fight that stupid thing that is in the Ruin City that completely kicked my butt the last time I was here. So I went up and I'm like, I'm going to go check this out, and then I was like, oh god, it hurts. So, yeah, I'm getting vengeance for that. It's kind of odd that I can't run across the stream in Alicia, but I can totally run across this one with no problem. Can I break that? No, I didn't think so. I was like, that is an awful big rock. Kind of feel like that is unbreakable. Like Bruce Willis. Okay, so I have to go this way. Hey, doggy. Oh, you caught me. Too bad for you. Well, I'm like, I'm not going to intentionally kill you guys because it would be unsporting, but if you guys catch me, then God help you. Alright, here we go. Well done. 
<laughs> it is... I, this is something, and maybe I'm a terrible person for enjoying this, but I've always liked going back to the early areas of games. Not spending any real time there, but just the... It's a way to see how you've grown through your journey. And just to completely and utterly destroy things that used to give you trouble. The, the one I remember the most is Final Fantasy VII, when you went back to the, like, the Zong Marsh, or whatever it was called. And, yeah, there was there was this snake in there that you spent so much time av avoiding. And then towards the end of the game, you could just straight up kill it easily. Okay, so where is this thing? I know you're here. There it is. Hi there, friend. Okay. Level 27, weak to air. What are they? Phantom Hellions, ones who are trapped by malevolence even in death. To the side! All right, come on, keep on. Dezel, go ahead and peach yourself. I said peach yourself. Why can't I? I don't understand why I can't armatize. Dezel had a point. Damn, 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 damn. Stop. Okay, did it. No, compared to what Saray goes through, this is nothing. And everyone was alive for the end of that, which is extra good. I think. Lila's is not lit up, but I definitely never used her in that fight, I don't think. Lila, what did you mean they were trapped by malevolence even in death? Humans and Seraphim, in fact all living species, have something within their bodies called a soul. A phantom is the hellion which results when that soul itself is corrupted by Wow, that's actually kind of deep. Then does that mean, even if we purify them, they won't go back to their human form? Yes. Well, they're dead. They are already dead. Hmm. But if we don't purify them, their souls will retain their malevolence, drifting around aimlessly for all eternity. As hellions who continue to prey on humans, you mean. So purification is still a way to save them, right? It is. Okay. I know what I must do. So then, what that means... If there, if the soul could get tainted by malevolence and cause a person to... Um, like, stay on this world even after death, does that mean that the, the, the it's possible that someone can be... Um, extremely blessed by seraphims and also stay around. I wonder if that's where... Huh. I wonder if that's what the base level of seraphim are. It's just humans who lived a really, 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 really blessed and good life. And so when they died, seraphim are basically just souls of people. 
Bear's thinking about? Because I've certainly, certainly got this working theory that um, Seraphim and Hellions are just two sides of the same coin. All right. Moving across the bridge, going back to Lady Lake. Okay, nothing is jumping out at me immediately as I need to go here. But I'm sure there's stuff to do here. I don't need to shop for weapons right now. I will do drop into the end, though. Nothing there. Wow, there's no scenes at the That's surprising. I kind of expect there to be at least one, because Lady Lake is a major place. And this is the first time we've been back to a major place in... Um... Oh, I always blank on the... It's Rolands, and it is Highland. This is Highland. I'm getting better, guys. I'm getting better. Now, that's a thing. Goes to the ruined village of Kaifi. To remember among the merchants. So recall that that village northeast of here was wiped out by Game Bandit several years ago. Well, I, I already fixed that. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lady Melton. That's kind of quasi why we're here. Now he tells me he's needed to call servant of the Princess Alicia to his honor or something. What about me? Yeah, you'll never be Princess Alicia. Oh, I, I love that. That little edge of, um... Frustration. <laughs> they refuse to comment on the shepherd, and you know what that means. They only refuse to comment on something when it's true. Hey, I see you there. Aww. I hate when they show me treasure chests, they don't let me pick them up. Blessing level 3. How you doing, man? Well, that's not anything really super interesting. I was hoping for something. 100 fusion points. Can I not leave from here? No, I can't, I can. I was confused. I prepared the bottles. You prepared a bottle. You only gave me a holy bottle. I think Mikhail's holding out on me, you guys. Why does it smell like that? Well, never mind. Compared to that, Mikhail did amazing. I know there's stuff going on with Lady Maltron and how she may or may not be malevolent because she totally supposedly got killed by Hellions and then she's still around. Oh wow. Hello. You give up. We caught you red-handed. Darn. That voice. It's a Hellion. Purify him. Yeah. You need something? Oh great shepherd. Is it alright if I deal with this boy? I'm afraid not. The only way to apprehend pickpockets is to catch them in the act. But... but he's... If you do the crime, you do the time. No matter how old you are. This kid just wasn't ready for real-world consequences. <sighs> hey, mister! Why don't you let Saray have a talk with him before you take him away? Just a word from the shepherd might steer the kid toward the right path in life. <laughs> better than any time in detention. That would be pointless. Come on, it won't do any harm. What, you got some problem with Saray talking to this boy? I never said that. It would simply be a waste of time. Well, what else are you doing with it? Arguing you with me? You said this kid wasn't prepared to deal with the real-world consequences of his crimes. Are you prepared, mister? What? I'm part of a merchant crew. 
that travels all over the world. You think I don't know why the pickpocketing problem is so bad? <laughs> I see. How much do you want? Wait, what? Don't put me on your level. We Sparrow Feathers value our customers' trust. Saray, we're taking this guy to jail, too. L like hell you are, you lying brat! Wait, he what? Lay a finger on her. Shepard! Oh, hey, stop! Wait! Saray! Go after him. Okay. If it ain't one thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'll go after them as well. I don't think we need boy. Shepherd or not, I won't let you obstruct my duties. I don't <laughs> think you can stop me. Guard, leave him alone. Even we can tell something about you stinks. Yeah, what kind of guard are you? You think we don't know what you're up to when our backs are turned? You dirty crook! I think we're good here. Let's go after Rose. Yeah, you're right. It's interesting that the guard wasn't a Hellion, even though he's apparently corrupt. We're heading after Rose, right? I guess we're heading after Rose. Um, I I kind of feel like we should be able to do something about the guard. Now the question is, okay, I definitely saw more things, but the they went this way. I was they ran off, and the scene didn't change, so I wasn't exactly sure where they were, but. It seemed like they went in this direction. I definitely see a star over here now. Phew. You made it. Is it over? Maybe. If it really bugs you that much, why don't you check up on it? <laughs> well, I kind of love Dizzle. Let him lead us home. Oh, so he wanders and we tail him. That could work. What, right. did, what will that do? Saray, Rose, you guys hide. I'll go wake him up. But he doesn't know you exist. Well, I guess as a Hellion, they may be able to... Like this is us hiding? Are you okay with this, Lila? Well, as long as we only follow him. <sighs> How do you not see us, kid? Wow. Yeah. So I'm supposed to follow don't him, but I don't know where he is. Pickpocketing now? He purified him after all. It depends on why he was. Not so sure about that. I've heard word of pickpocket gangs. Oh, really? We need to find out whether he was doing it on his own, or with a group. I am the Great Mighty Shepherd. I follow children to their houses. Please don't tell Chris Wallace. I'm apparently getting goofy glasses from somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, am I pickpocketing now? What did you mean by you knew why the pickpocketing problem is so bad? Yeah, that made no sense. That's really out of context to me. The enforcers let him off a lot of the time in exchange for part of the takings. Then, when the guards need to hit their quotas, they round him up anyway. That's probably what that was about. No way. I am so stealthy. I'm ready for Middle Girl Solid, you guys. I, I do have to say, this is a little bit of a disappointing mission. Because there's no skill here. This is just walk after the kid. You know, it's not like I have to sit here and, like, wait. Look, no, it's right just in. slowly no walk man. behind him. It's clearly not his house. I'm guessing a pickpocket gang, then. And so this must be their base. Something tells wow. me he's not gonna quit stealing. Well, crap. Come on, we're not done yet. Nope. Rose, it's unfortunate, but I'm not sure we should... Lila means that this is just a problem of human society. Right. It might not be something a shepherd should get involved in. Huh. 
I'm pretty sure Sarai's gonna get involved. Sorry. If he's doing it by himself, I'd be okay letting him deal with the consequences. But if there's a gang forcing him to steal, it's a completely different story. I gotta check to make sure. Yeah, I thought so. I understand. Let's go check it out just in case. You sure? But no more than that. Understood? <laughs> Saray, Rose, even if you don't intend them to, the powers of the Shepherd and the Squire can greatly influence human society and the spirits of men. Please don't forget that. All right. We'll just watch and see who goes in and out. Interesting. Or I'm not sure how... Who knew that we wouldn't see anything for days on end? You stood there for days and no one noticed? I'm staying here. It's okay. Shh. Someone's coming out. It's a bunch of little kids. Those kids? You think maybe they're not being forced to pickpocket? <sighs> We've come this far. Let's see this thing through. No reason not to. Dazzle? You go follow those brats. I'll go check out the building. I was gonna say, Thanks. the Air Seraph is a great person to send into places because he can just float around and most people can't see him. Don't go for anything big, got it? Only money and jewelry and stuff. Are they gonna have anything like that? That shepherd guy did something, and now there's lots more people donating stuff to the sanctuary. Oh, cool. You better leave that my freaking fun. Priests won't be mean to kids, and if there's any real problems, we can always start crying. <laughs> I'm good at that. Hey, is this really okay? It's okay if you're us and not them. Is this what kids are like these days? Dangerous Apparently. Things. And once again, this is not. Those kids barely have any malevolence at all. Children and their brutal honesty can be even crueler than corrupted adults, as you've seen. <sighs> Interesting. I don't know how Dizzle's title leveled up for me following a bunch of kids around. But apparently it did. Where are they? I know they were going to the sanctuary, but I don't know how they got that far ahead of me. Wait. Star? Star! I can't see anything. Oh, Dezel. How was it? The building was completely empty. Those scamps are probably just camping out there. So then, those kids are acting on their own. Well, it sounds like we need to let them deal with the consequences of their actions, then. No one's forcing them to do it. And that's what we said last time. Alright, it's snatching time! <sighs> now that we know the score, do we want to report them to the guards and end this whole thing? I kind of think After yes. All, they're not Hellions. Yes, I do. <sighs> Let's tell the guards about it and then put it all behind us. Okay. I can't do that. Hey, Why Rose? not? You just said. Oh, darn it. What do you want? Look, I never did nothing. We know all about what you're up to. Fooling the priests into thinking you're helpless orphans and then robbing them blind. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Oh yeah? You got any proof? This here is the shepherd. His word is good enough. Th that's perjury! False witness! <laughs> Princess Alicia and the people of Lady Lake all trust Saray. Because he's been living an honest life. How about you? Will anyone trust your word? <sighs> Give it that's up, kid. a jerky thing to do. What else can we do? The adults all abandoned us. If we want to survive, stealing's our only choice. Rose, maybe we ought to. Come on, Saray. Let's bring them to the guards. But you just wouldn't. Oh my god. But to think children their age could conceive of such wretched duplicity. And the other children? They were all caught by the guards and hauled away. I see. Those who commit crimes must be punished, even if they are children. It's the way the world works, but it still pains the heart. Yeah. Hm. 
That quest makes no bloody sense at all. I'm making this up. Hey, isn't this an Earth in Historia? I don't know how it got there. That, that was a donation from someone in the city. It looks rather rare and precious, so we've been unsure whether we should sell it. Nice! Good call, Mr. Priestman! Huh? <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Father Brunor, we're actually collecting these. You think we could have this? We pay for it, of course. No, 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 please, that's not necessary. If it's something the Shepherd needs on his quest, by I was gonna say, I'm surprised if they'll actually let us pay for it. I'm sure the donor would be overjoyed to know that their gift had been some help to the Shepherd. Thank you, Father Brunor. I really like Father Brunor. Uh, I shouldn't have picked this up because I still want to talk. Okay, you know what? I want to watch that next time. Um, this time, I... That quest was really weird, you know? It is... It's a... Rose stopped me from reporting them to the guards, and instead of went out there, talked to them briefly, and then we reported them to the guards. Why? I just... And it was her... She was the one that had said, if no one's forcing them, she's fine with them having to suffer the consequences for their actions, because that... And that's right. You know? I'm, I'm sorry they're kids, but you can't just go around, you know, breaking the law like crazy and get away scot-free just because you're young. That's not... That's not the way the world works. You know, obviously, if the guards were going to, like, put them to death or something, I would stop that. But no, you're you're stealing from people. You That, that needs to be addressed. So, oh, that was a really weird quest. I do like that they're having, like, certain things, like, um, in the world, and Saray can't stop them, you know? You're not generic RPG hero that every step, you know, makes the world wonderful and unicorns and there's no there's no suffering anywhere. I like that they address there's certain things that Saray cannot fix. Human nature is going to cause a certain degree of issues no matter what. But yeah, that quest was really weird. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for tuning in. Sorry for being a ramble, Rosie. I'm not Rosie. I don't know why I said that. See you guys.